from this angle uh, the castle looks a bit more imposing. I'm sorry I can't really get it all in because I've got a wall directly behind me. Maybe on a day like today it has more effect than it would have had had it been here in the summer. Although it is raining and I'm getting wet. Could be worse I suppose. Well, I don't doubt this is very attractive, but I can't see the uh, attraction for the Nazis. Anybody that's known mythology, there's a great tit. I know there'd have been one here also when Himmler was here. Oh, there's the church. The old mill's down there. Now, the youth hostel's one of the biggest in Germany. I was just talking to a gentleman now, he was telling me there's 140 guests there to date. Don't know why. And uh, they, they can take well over 200 people. Rooms with six people in each. It's about 24 euros if you want to uh, spend the night here. With breakfast. To all honesty, it doesn't sound very expensive to me. Unless it's really dodgy inside, of course. But I very much doubt it in Germany. So we can see from this model. Um, which gives a better um, explanation than I could give beforehand uh, because basically I couldn't find the, 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 a decent viewpoint as I was coming in on the car but um, the approach from the motorway is around here with this escarpment it does, uh, from this angle it certainly does give uh, an impression of strength, but to continue with what my idea, which I mentioned earlier, is that I just can't see the attraction. So the, the light hovering above. Um, just entered this building here and um, coming around, we can see the courtyard to the left is the where the youth hostel is and the sort of dreaded centre of the north tower to the top. So here we have Himmler's wine cellar no less in the castle of Bevelberg and uh, well it's not as good as most wine cellars I've seen in fact I mean there's plenty of plenty here to get yourself well and truly uh, plastered, but uh, you know, it doesn't quite look up to the usual nice stacks and things that you see. It's pretty cold in here, which gives me to think that probably Himmler was into uh, white wine, which of course is very German, which is red wine. That, I do get red wine in Germany, but it's pretty, uh, pretty disgusting in my opinion, but uh, other people might think otherwise. Uh, let's see how many uh, boxes you get in. One, two, three, four. So it's 24 high, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 there, 24 times 25, and there's um, uh, 21 times 3. That's how many bottles of wine he could get in here, unless these things are so deep, I can't really tell. Oh, let's look up the ceiling. And anyway, Himmler's boosted it all up, so there's none there left. For me. And so now heading up into the North Tower where the SS used to have some odd rituals and things. The 
this is the moat. The moat was actually deepened. Uh, when Himmler turned up here, he had Bartels, who was his architect, uh, deepen it. So I don't really know what it was like beforehand, but I'm sure there's some old photographs which uh, will um, uh, demonstrate that. Here's the, uh, we've seen the bridge here, uh, the date 1934. So Himmler turned it up in, on, on the 3rd of uh, November 1933 and quickly had the, build, the bridge built uh, pretty quickly after that. Initially, most of the work here at Wevelsberg was done by uh, volunteer labour, or this sort of this Reich volunteer. I don't know. I wouldn't like to say how voluntary, voluntary it was, and maybe there's some force involved, but it was as part of the labour service, um, what have you. Um, this being part of um, socialist ideology in many um, countries in the 30s and what have you, the only part of the type of labour is physical labour, and the fact that machine can do it better or something like that is, is not really relevant. Uh, later on, um, concentration camp prisoners were brought here. Um, over 4,000 uh, concentration camp prisoners worked on this site and uh, of whom around one third actually died. And uh, there is some memorial, so I'm not terribly certain where. There's also a, a quarry near here where stonework was brought from I'm not certain as I speak uh, where it is. Um, there were, um, for example, Jewish prisoners who were brought here. Uh, well, the first ones were actually brought here from on, on, on Crystal Arc, the 10th of November, uh, 19, uh, 1938. And actually, put in here before we take the um, Buchenwald, I think. Or maybe in Saxon I can't remember. Um, uh, of the known Jewish prisoners that did serve here, uh, that were forced here, I should say. Uh, worked here. Uh, none of them survived, they were all murdered. This is the crypt. Say about it. It's a domed hall. I believe the SS wanted to hold some type of remembrance things and what have you here, um, some kinds of ceremonies. Um, the, for example, the uh, rings of dead. Uh, SS officers were brought to Wevelsberg and maybe this was some kind of weird ceremony that they wanted to actually uh, get involved in. Um, the work here was actually done by people from the, the concentration camp in either hand. Um, we never actually found out though. Nobody knows why. The um, The rings were brought here, what was to be done here, what kind of weird ceremonies. I often think things like masons and things, that they do weird ceremonies. I don't know if they do or not being a mason myself or having any interest in that for that matter. Within the crypt, we've got these pictures which were painted. Uh, opened in 1950 to the victims of National Socialism and which are done by a local artist from Buren um, was here until about 1973 when they were taken away I think these are just copies now because obviously the, the moist there I can feel it it's not particularly um, uh, ideal for pictures but let's have a look at what we've got for, for, of the thousands this is the real reference, the real Nazism. Uh, there we have it. Thousands of dead. Injured. Ch 
church is destroyed. Synagogues burning. The dead of Hitler's war. Death in concentration camps. Millions of refugees. Cities destroyed by bombs. The destruction of culture. That, in my opinion, also absolutely sums up what National Socialism was all about and the person who painted these pictures, himself a German uh, local, uh, who would have been a victim of Hitler's war, the Nazis' war, would have understood what he was doing. And if any this script is to serve for anything, it is for what is actually written here. Now, today, and not this weird old, I don't know, farcical world of the National Socialists, the Nationalists, and all others who want to believe in these extremely evil fairy tales of racism, the supremacy of one people over another, and wicked ideologies. This is the staircase up to the North Tower, up the North Tower, I should say. The inner sanctum of the higher SS. So what used to happen in the good old days was this, that they'd come in here and uh, they'd get the computer out and uh, charge their, well so that's a hard disk, charge the mobile phone of course, look up, because they probably had some mates in, for example, in uh, uh, there in Marburg, like I, I've got some mates in Marburg, Varberg I should say, so get that out, find out on the map, and then have a nice plate of currywurst and chips and uh, sing some silly songs. Uh, to the Führer and all the rest of the nonsense. <laughs>